know who comes to the Lord, opens the door? Carrie Lee Lewis. Lewis. In his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> he did have that curly, wavy red hair. <laughs> he opens the door. I'm standing there looking at him. I said, my, my name is Richard Davis. I'm a pastor. And I'm here in, in Kansas City in a meeting, and I walked by your, your room, and I, I knew that was you. Mm. He said, you're a pastor? Mm. I said, he said, come on in. Grab me by the arm. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the door behind. Just me and him. Nobody. I don't know where his entourage was. They must have gone for lunch or something. Uh -huh. around lunchtime. And uh, he had this upright piano in his room. Mm. It had a suite. And uh, he said, you know Amazing Grace? I said, yes, sir. He said, well, let's sing it. So he says, the piano, start playing, and me and Jerry Lee sing a duet, Amazing Grace, how sweet the He gets to cry. And he says, you know, I used to be in ministry. I said, you did? He said, yeah. He said, but I got into all this rock and roll business and got to be a success. And he said, all that went by the way. He said, I have one convert in my ministry. One, one man to the Lord. He said, as far as I know, he's still serving God. Look at me. He said, I'm surrounded by dogs every night. Mm -hmm. That was his, that was the way he looked at those people that were following at his feet. He said, I'm surrounded by dogs every night. I said, you don't have to live like this. I said, you know you don't. He said, yeah, I know, I know. He said, but great balls of fire and a whole lot of shaking going on has been good to me. <laughs> I said, I, I realize that. I said, you know, there's pleasure in sin for a season. I said, but God still loves you, man. You don't have to do it like this. He said, would you pray for me? I felt like saying, does a one-legged duck swim <laughs> Laid my hands on him and I prayed for him. Big tears. I mean, wet his pajamas with his tears. tears. I prayed for him and I prayed the prayer of salvation with him. Asked him if he'd say it with me. He did. He said, Man, I'm so glad you came by. He said, You're so refreshing to me. He said, Do you know what a friend we have in Jesus? <laughs> and I said, Yes. So me and Jerry Lee started singing. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. And we sang it, and we sang the second verse and the third verse. He just, he just couldn't get enough of it. You know, Elvis was like that. Yes. He couldn't help but sing them on song because he grew up with them. Yes. You know, uh, 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 Jimmy Swagger is a cousin to Jerry Lee Lewis. Yes. Yes. He plays the piano a lot like Jerry Lee. Listen, you never know. You never know what's going to cross your path. But but there we were, and we, 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 we just... Then I kept, I gave him my card and I gave him my phone number and I said, you can call me anytime. Listen, call me. We'll talk. We'll, 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 we'll talk about it. We'll pray about it. Never heard from him again. And all the reports later was about his exploits and in, in, in the things that were not of God. And I thought, well, you had your chance, buddy. Had your chance, and I, I'm so, but you know what? Don't count him out because you're liable to see him. We'll be on our way. How long does it take for the lights to come on? Now, listen, he was singing a whole lot of shaking going on, but he was talking about a different kind of shaking. But boy, we can sing that now. There is a whole lot of shaking. Chapter 
21. Turn over with me to Luke. Chapter 21. Let's look at verse 25. There shall be signs in the sun and in the moon, and the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations, with perplexity. Amen. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Now when it's talking about heavens there, it's not talking about the heavens where God lives. By the way, on your list of threes, there's a first, second, and third heaven. Paul was called up to the third one. Now listen to me. When it says the heavens are shaken, there are powers and principalities and rulers of the darkness of this world in high places. Those are spheres where, you remember when Daniel prayed and, and for 21 days it didn't seem like he was getting an answer. And then all of a sudden Gabriel shows up, says God heard you from the first day and I am here. But I had a little difficulty getting through because the prince of Persia withstood me. He didn't want me coming to telling you this. And he said, now I'm going to leave you and I'm going back. And the, and the prince of Grecia is going to come and help him. He said, but Michael's going to meet me there. <laughs> May I say to you that we're not in those days anymore. Jacob saw angels ascending and descending on a ladder, coming and going. Earth to heaven, heaven to earth. It's not like that anymore because when Jesus came, the veil was rent in two. Amen. And he blew a hole in the heavens. Amen. And now, Hebrews 1.14 says, Are not all of his angels ministering spirits that are sent, past and simple, to minister to the heirs? They're already here. Amen. You don't have to call one down. He's... He, Standing around waiting on you. You waiting on him, you backing up. Listen to me. The heavens are shaking. There's powers and principalities that are running into walls. Amen. They don't know what to do. Amen. Amen. They don't know whether to go to the bathroom or go blind. Amen. I'm telling you, there's That's confusion true. in the ranks yes. because God's word is coming forth. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now, yes. you can paralyze them with your praise. Yes. Demons, listen, demons going to start running into each other when you start singing and worshiping and praising God because they don't know what to do. It sets them in confusion. Amen. Now, Shaken up. The whole world is being shaken up. The health system is shaken up. The economic system is shaken. Yes. The educational system is shaken. The justice system is shaken. The political system is shaken. The law enforcement system is shaken. Social interaction is shaking. Yes, Relation or uh, religious systems are, are, are shaken. Yes, Travel systems are shaken. Yes. Dining systems are shaken. Child care systems. Cleaning systems, labor systems, shopping systems, entertainment systems, funerals are being shaken, government systems, international relationships, it's all being shaken like an elephant bumping into a tree. Everything's shaken. Why? It's the Word of God. It is sent and it is coming to pass. Prophecy is happening all around you. That's the word. That's the word at work. Yeah. Revelation 18. Listen to this. And an angel with great power came down from heaven, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried with a mighty strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit. Come out of her, my 
people that ye may not be partakers of her sin. That ye receive not of her plagues. Plagues, plagues. That the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. No man buyeth her merchandise anymore. It's like dominoes. One makes another one fall and then another one. Listen, Babylon's coming down. You ever see that movie, uh, Independence Day with uh, Will Smith, yeah. Yeah. and when they all get, find out how to how to work Fresh it, Prince. Fresh Prince. and that big, huge uh, uh, spaceship just starts disintegrating, and what does it do? It just starts falling to the earth in pieces. Babylon is falling. Babylon is falling. Don't be alarmed. Be amazed and be excited. And be hopeful and full of faith because this is for your good. Amen. It's going to help you. It ain't going to help them, but it's going to help you. Yes, absolutely. Habakkuk prophesied that this would produce something. What will it produce, Habakkuk? He said, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. We did it that way. See, the world's looking for something solid to hold on to. Because everything's shaking. The world's looking for something solid. Guess what I found? Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a weary land, a weary land. Jesus is a rock in a weary land, a shelter in the time of storm. I found a rock. I'm anchored to the rock. Let hell or high waters rage. Let systems shake and fall. Let people be confused. Let people wander. Let difficulties and struggles. But I want to tell you something for God's people. This just means salvation. Now, I didn't think I was going to get this far, but I did. But I'm going to pick up here next week. Next week, I'm going to talk to you about the third day is the seventh. <laughs> I said that sounds like a contradiction no but it's not let me tell you the light of God's word shines from out there in eternity back across the history of man see it with me see that light shining from the future from God see cause God don't go to the beginning and start writing. He goes to the end and writes back. We had not learned how to do that, English professor. <laughs> See the light shining. That light falls on different things and casts types and shadows. You see, Moses was on one side of the cross, but you and I are on a another side. And when that light hits that cross, guess what? When that light hit that cross, the shadow of that cross fell back in the days of Moses and Moses built a tabernacle out of that pattern. Just look at the tabernacle. It's in the shape of a cross. You go in, go all the way straight back to the, to the Holy of Holies, go to side to side. It's in the shape of a cross. See, God didn't just send Jesus to have a vertical relationship with him. He sent him so that that vertical relationship become a reach out relationship man to man. God man. See that? That light shining, casting shadows. All of that's prophetic. All of that needs to be understood. I don't have time to get
get into a whole lot more of it, but just in closing, let, let me just say that the third day, from the time Jesus died till now, the third day, the third dimension, from Adam, it's the seventh day, the seventh day, and the third day are the same. Because Jesus came 4,000 years after Adam was. So Jesus came 4,000 years after Adam. And now we're 3,000, almost 3,000 years since, since Jesus. We're in the third dimension. So we're coming up on the seventh and the third day, which are the same exactly. day. Does that track with you? Does anybody that doesn't understand what I'm saying? Okay. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> All right, listen. Adam, Jesus, 4,000 years later. Jesus, now. From Jesus to now, 3,000. From Adam to now, 7,000. One day with the Lord has his last 1,000 years, and 1,000 years is one day. So it's been one week for Adam. Three days for Jesus. Wow. Wow. You see that? Yes, sir. You got that? Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Listen, so, you, know, you, you know, you know, you're not, you're not talking to a fool up here. <laughs> oh, <that's> right. <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> hey, I'm going to pick up right here next week. I want to tell you about the, the third day church. going to be exciting. I, you don't want to miss next week. All I've done today is lay some groundwork. Because next week I'm going to tell you who you are. You already know who you think you are. But next week I'm about to tell you who you are. According to what God said about you. Are you ready? Yes. No, you're not. Stand up on your feet. much more to this story. The first time, well, the only time, I ever went out west, drove along the rim, parked my car, got out, walked over to the edge, and looked down into the Grand Canyon. My mind said, <laughs> I was I was in awe. Heard about it, seen pictures of it. But until you actually are looking over into it, you just don't get the scope of it. We've been playing in the shallow. Jesus said to Peter, long child, in to the deep. Listen, you can get in the shallows and snort. That means you can still touch the bottom and breathe out that little tube. And you can see some pretty colored fish and maybe a little coral here and a little, you know, some shells and stuff. But if you'll launch out in. swim by you, he could eat you. Sharks and, and, and whales and creatures you've never even dreamed of live in the deep. Amen. Listen, we've been playing in the shadows. In the shallows. <coughs> and it's time to launch out into the deep because that's What's that song they sing? Why don't you let down your net? Down into the water, there's a blessing waiting you cannot contain. Why don't you let down your net? Down into the water, he's pouring out the ladder. 
Listen, I, I'm, I'm, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm done. But this is exciting to me. And I just can't hardly wait till next week to, to, to just lay some things out for you. It, I just, listen, I'm a teacher. I love to, to teach you things and see those light bulbs come on over your head. I love that. That ignites me. I wish you loved it on your end as much as I love it on mine. Because I live for it. I can tell you, I live for it. Because I love to take the things out of the deeps, bring them up to the shallows and say, hey, yeah. look at this. You want more of this? You got to go down here. <laughs> Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for these precious people. Thank you for their love and for their patience. Thank you for their support and their prayers. Thank you, Lord, for their fellowship. And Lord, we are indeed a family. Ties that are cords of love. Ties, Lord, that go beyond flesh ties. They're ties of the Spirit. Lord, I am so honored and delighted with where we are. Yes, Father. And Father, who we are becoming. Help us. Deepen us. Show us. Teach us. Father, I thank you. I praise you. And I know that your hand is upon us for good. And that you will keep your hand upon us in this coming week. And we will be well, we will be blessed, we will be prosperous, we will be safe, we will be directed, and we will be anointed, and we will be effective in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we thank you for it. We call it into being. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Jesus name. Everybody said? Yes. Amen. Amen.